Thanks, Daniela. A bill introduced in the Florida Senate would reverse course on a tuition break for so-called dreamers. If approved, the change could impact students at the University of Florida and other state schools. WUFT's Nicole Signini joins us live from the newsroom with more. This bill was introduced Wednesday by State Senator Greg Stubbe of Sarasota. The legislation would undo a 2014 law that had an impact on a lot of undocumented students. A 2014 law allows certain undocumented students to pay in-state tuition rates at state universities. Some students don't know if they could afford school without that break, since out-of-state tuition is three or four times as expensive. I would definitely not be in UF right now. I feel very grateful that that law exists so I could pay. I mean, I still have to pay out of pocket, but at least it's helping me not to pay as an international student because I've been here pretty much all my life. Natalie's parents brought her to Florida at age eight, and she qualifies for in-state tuition because she graduated from a Florida high school after being there for at least three years. A lot of people have a misconception that we're all criminals and that we're all trying to take um, money away from taxpayers and all that, but um, I work. I pay taxes, and I know that thousands of other people in Florida do too. Stubbe has told the media he met many people while campaigning this year who are against the tuition break. But people who fought for the 2014 bill say a reversal would be devastating. I don't know if the person who has filed the bill or the supporters of the bill have really considered its impact, its real impact on the lives of these students and also have considered the circumstances under which these students migrated to the United States. Advocates say the undocumented students had no choice but to come to the United States. They came here by the choice of their parents, something that they had no say in. Many of them came here at the age of two, three, four years old. The Senate vote was 26 to 13 in 2014, but Stubbe believes the dynamics may have changed after Donald Trump's successful campaign for president. As children, the undocumented students have been allowed to stay under an Obama administration program called DACA, but it's up to the states to decide the rules for in-state tuition waivers. UF President Fox joined hundreds of college presidents this week in calling for DACA to survive whatever changes on immigration President Trump can get Congress to pass. Nicole Segnini, WUFT News.